throughout the duration of this course, there are going to be two things that's going to stand in your way. Two. And I'm going to write them on the board. There's going to be two things that's going to stand in your way. I'm letting you guys know what to expect. So when you do, so when you do encounter these little monsters, you didn't say I didn't tell you. Okay? Mark. Uh-huh. See those two words? You see that? Well, you guys better appreciate today. Today's going to be the easiest day for the next eight weeks. Because we got to go through this whole introduction thing, right? But we're about to start. And when I start, I start, right? When the train starts moving, the train starts moving. Two things you're going to encounter throughout the duration of this course. Fear and laziness. Fear and laziness. Who understands what I mean by fear? In relation to what I'm talking about. Fear. Taking on something new. Challenging. Yes. Something that's challenging. Listen, guys. Anything you want to accomplish in life that you intend to accomplish, listen. If you have not if you do not accomplish it, the only thing that's stopping you is fear. It's always fear. And fear gives birth to laziness. For instance, I give you the projects. You look at the projects. Everybody look at me. I give you the projects. You look at the projects. You open up your email. You see how many questions on the project. Watch this. Watch this. This is how it goes every time. Every time. Watch this. You see the projects. It's 150 questions, for instance. And then you do this. Listen to me. Watch this. You do this. That's fear. Then what does it give birth to? Laziness. Laziness. Then in your mind, you're like, you know what? I'll, get it. I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Don't do that shit in here. Some of you have kids. Some of you have kids. Who has kids? Mm-hmm. Some of you have loved ones. Don't you, Mr. Mr. Root? Mm -hmm. Some of you have mothers who love you. Quick story. Another one. I was married before. Guess why she left me? Tell me. Work too hard. What'd you say? No money. What'd you just say, Mr. Nick? Yeah. Sucks, doesn't it? No money. Bottom line. No money. But you know the funny thing is? <laughs> she miscalculated her jump. That's the way it is. She miscalculated her jump. I remember I took her out one day to one of my friends' house to a barbecue. And under, listen to me, everybody. And underneath her breath, I heard her say, underneath her breath, I heard her say, oh, I like him because he's got money. Ooh. The last thing you want your woman to do is to look at another man with more esteem than you. Last year, I was, last year I weighed 260 pounds, believe it or not. 260, 260. Listen, this guy, Dan Pena, we emailed, blah, blah, all that. Dan Pena. Now I weigh in the 180s. I still got like 15 more to go. 170 that I'm done. Why? Because I'm committed. I say I'm going to do. A, uh, tell you I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a thing, right? And it's the same commitment level I expect from you guys. If you even 
have any thoughts of succeeding in this class, oh, you better be committed. You better be committed. Because this is a train, like a plane, throughout the duration of these eight weeks, it's going to feel like a plane that just never takes off. It's going to be like <laughs> But before you know it, you look back. If you do everything I tell you to do, how far you've come. I don't want to hear anything about $150,000 being too much, because it's not. Not only do we teach this class, we teach the advanced class, real application clusters and data guard. If you're wise, you probably would take it. Who here has a top secret clearance? If you're wise, you probably take it, even if you don't. Because now you can make $160,000. 160. Just from the things I'm going to teach you. 160. $160,000 is not a lot of money. It's all relative. Okay. Who knows LeBron James? Everybody knows LeBron James. Right, okay, good. Who knows Kobe Bryant? Who knows uh, Shaquille O'Neal? I say okay. All right. Quick question. Who the hell's Mike Conley? Ah, you're a basketball fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Mike Conley? No, no, no. Who's Mike Conley? Who's Mike Conley? I already know from a guy that had this class, so I'm not going to. Oh, he, he, he told. He told. Yeah. Mr. Fred? Do you know Mike Conley? Do you know Mike Conley? No, I don't Do you know Mike Conley? Overseas, huh? That's the bottom line. Do you know Mike Conley? Huh? That's the whole point. That's the whole point. $153 million over the next five years. $30 million a year. He plays basketball. That's the point. That's the point. You don't know anything about him. But he makes what? 153 million. We did the math. That's 83.3 thousand per day. Every day. Now the NBA season is not year is not year long. He's not going to the finals or anything like that. He probably works maybe five months a year. Six. Let's be generous. So that means really he earns 160, we round it up, 167,000 per working day. Every day for the next five years, for the rest of his life, working life, 160,000, $167,000 per day. Every day. So when I tell you, when you go ask for compensation, don't be asking for $80,000 if you came from this class. This is what I want you to do. If you, check, if you take the regular class, how much do I want? Ask me, Ms. Raquel. How much do you want? $140,000 and shut up. Just shut up. Ask for $140,000 and shut up. Is that too hard? Just shut up. See what they say. Oh, they got the money. If Mike Conley can make this, never forget this name, Mike Conley. Remember, I asked you guys, you had no idea who he was. If Mike Conley can make this per day, I don't think it's too much for you to ask for that per year. It's all relative. All relative. Some of you are security officers, right? I know some of these posts you're in. You stand all day, don't you? God damn it. You stand? Raquel, Raquel doesn't stand. She's lucky. Oh, you, 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 your main side, right? You stand all day. That is bad on your, on your spine over time. How long have you been doing that? 
Four months? You got to get out of there. Right. You got to get out. How long you? Almost three years. I see a doctor twice a week. Whew. Spine's all fucked up now. You heard that? The spine is messed up. Mm-hmm. I was in there. I did it. The only problem was I always got fired on my jobs, on my security jobs. <laughs> oh, I, she, I slept. I knew everywhere to go. And I, for whatever reason, they always caught me. <laughs> they always caught me. Like every time, every job, I was always caught sleeping. I don't know why. Because it, it just wasn't for me, man. Every security job I ever had, I got fired. Because I was always sleeping. Because I always got the night job because I was doing like three different things at the same time. I was going to college, I had an accounting job, I had my degree, yes, I had a finance job, and at night, I had a security job. So I was doing three things, of course. I'm going to sleep. Come on, I'm not a machine, right? It is what it is, okay? All right. So, the money's all relative. But to get the money, you guys have to approach this thing professionally, right? When you walked in here, you're not coming to class. Get that out of your mind. You're here for work. This is work experience. Some of you guys might be thinking, how am I going to put all this stuff on my resume as far as how, if they ask me how many years of experience do you have? By the time you're done with here, by the time you're done with this class, you're going to have five years worth of experience. Five years. Five years worth of experience. Do you know why? Here's why. Here we go. If you have a doctor, you have two doctors, one doctor has been in the hospital for 10 years, and he delivers three babies per year, right? We have another doctor that's been in the hospital for two, for two years, but he delivers two babies per day. Who has more experience? Listen, at, at the job, you don't do any work. As an Oracle DBA, you don't do much work at all. You really, you just really don't. This is not networking, this is not security, this is not, um, I'm not talking about security, also. I'm talking about security, you know, network security, cyber security, this ain't none of that. If the database is up and running, it's up. Nothing for you to do. Just sit back, relax, watch Netflix. You laugh, but that's just the way it is. We get paid the most money, but do the least. But do the least. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Right? So you guys came in here for a good, this is, this is a good, this is a good profession you're getting into, right? So many times I look at all the people around me, the team around me, the Linux admins, oh my God. The network guys, they work them. And they don't get paid nothing, $70,000, nothing. Peanuts. Peanuts. Next two years, if I, if I wanted to, I could retire for the rest of my life. Two years. Little old me. Go figure. How you like that? Right? Mr. Mario, you want the champagne? Yes, sir. Right? Huh? Yes, sir. We want the caviar. Yes, right? The flashlights. Right? Who wants the flashlight? Caviar. Huh? Huh? Bright lights. Huh? The limos. Miss Gashard, you like that? Huh? You want the finer things in life? I just came back from New York. Little orange juice cup. Look, no, a glass of orange juice, like this. How much do you think it was? Look, like this. Huh? Yeah, it's close to that. It was really seven, pissed me off. Just like that, seven dollars. And I kept wondering, how come she keeps asking me for a refill? Would you like some more? Would you like some more? New York is not cheap. I stay in a hotel, $600 a night, the W. Guys, guess what? Not too long ago, I couldn't do this. Why do I say all this? Why? Because but here, so back then, right, I did the projects unfailingly. 